And now we return to the track with the women's 100 meters hurdles, followed very shortly by the men's 110 meters hurdles. And we were saying just how incredible those semi finals were a little earlier. Incredible performances, including Sirena Samba Mayala, European leading mark, 12.43. Well, Victoria Forster, one of the celebrations of these championships when she made it through as one of those non automatic qualifiers. Nadine Visser, not quite sure she's at her best, but uh, pedigree of twice a European indoor champion so certainly very much a medal contender on to Sarah Lavin who won her semi-final of course equaling her season's best of 1273 and after the Irish won that gold medal last night certainly they'll be very excited about giving this one a big shot too you know, repeating that feat would be very difficult to do Sirena Samba Mayel. I mean, to have the French record alone given their pedigree in the women's sprint hurdles is fantastic, but Samba Mayela, very much uh, a game face from her. Taking over from uh, Ditaja Kambunji as the European leader this year, of course. Pierce Grahovska trying to defend the title that she won in Munich nearly two years ago. 12.53 this year, still a sensational time. Cindy Semba, winner of the third semi-final. Maybe a little bit lucky with the draw on that occasion that she didn't have someone like Samba Mayela with her in that, but still made the most of the opportunity. Has got a, a strong lane draw as well. Right next to Strahovska and then Kambunji, the bronze medalist. Two years ago, behind Skrahovska. 12.49 had been the fastest time in Europe this year, but uh, in fact, Samba Mayela now third fastest in the world this year, let alone best in Europe. And then Rita Hurske, Finland's first finalist since 1969, which uh, surprised me a little bit, given that she and uh, Anna-Marie Korte and Lotta Harala, Nora Lotta Naziri have all been very, very strong over the last few seasons. Must have just been a little bit unlucky outdoors at the Europeans. Hurska, maybe more of a 60 meter hurdle specialist, as indeed she triumphed in Istanbul last year, which was a great championships for Finland. So you're really putting your neck on the line when you try and uh, predict a 100 meter hurdles race. But Samba Mayela was terrific in that semi-final. Forster, Visser, Lavin, Samba Mayela then in lane five. Skrahovska, defending champion, Samba, Kambunji, and Huska in a very exciting final, this one. So decent getaway from uh, Sarah Lavin, Samba Mayela now in the blue of France, chased down by Skrahovska and chased by Kambunji as well, tries to hold them off. Kambuji trying to close, but goal for France and Sirena Samba Mayela in 12.31. The fastest time in the world this year and a phenomenal performance, taking the championship record that had been held since 1986 by Jordana Dongova. It's a tenth of a second off the European record also held by the Bulgarian. That is quite simply sensational from Sirena Samba Mayela. Ditaji Kambunji, one place higher than she was two years ago. And uh, Pia Skrahovska, well, in the semi finals, we got a sense that she wasn't quite at her best, but still, she's produced her fastest ever time of 12.42, which uh, would have been the fastest in Europe this year prior to this final taking place in December a little gutting for her to be just outside the medals but still produced her fastest of the year when it matters let's look again at that absolutely terrific race well Samba Mayela wasn't the quickest away it was at this stage looking as though it was Kambunji on her way to gold but Samba Mayela just coming through so strongly over the final three barriers and she's so quick between the barriers as well Samba Mayela just pulling away 
Skrahovska did her very best to defend her title. Kambunji, 12.40. It wasn't initially showing on your screen, but that's taken a huge chunk off her own Swiss record from last year of 12.47. But there's no doubt at all. Now, that is really going to cause waves right the way across Europe. Of course, that's been happening tonight. And by the time it reaches the United States, the very best American hurdlers and the likes of Camacho Quinn are going to be wondering what they're going to do to hold off this woman on home soil in Paris.